Greetings, Survivor. This, this is the Neuroshima Hex Gamer. Today, we are going to look at the play a game with the new, uh, well, the beta app for Neuroshima Hex. So, just to go over it, we have Quick Game, which right now I think only does Borgo versus Moloch. Create a game where we can customize what we're going to play. Uh, join the game, which does online games. Uh, currently, there's not many people that are playing. Hopefully, once the beta, once the uh, actual version is released to the public and is available on the App Store, hopefully more people will play online. It's always fun to play people's people. Uh, then with rules, we don't have a tuto tutorial yet. But I'm interested to see what that is. Uh, the PDF is the basic, I'll well, just click on it. Uh, that's just the raw original rule book. That's taking its time today. There it is. So just the PDF of the of the rule book goes through all the rules. Uh, then armies, which we we have before, where you can choose different, select different armies. There's flavor text, and then you can also select units. To learn more about each of the units. And then we've got settings, music, sound effects. Game settings, let's turn music off. And quick game medium, you can select the difficulty. Uh, normal animations versus fast to your preference. So let's do a, yeah, let's stick with hegemony. Let's do a hard AI. And just for fun, let's, how can we only do two right now? Okay, I guess we can only do two or a single opponent, which is kind of a bummer. I really like when we can go full bore. So let's rage against the machine. Mm. I do like how there is this undo feature. Now, ideally, I'd want to be close to the enemy. So I can do maximum damage because the Hegemony HQ gives one additional uh, melee attack. This is a good start. So you can see here in the attacks, uh, the number increases based on boosts that you see here in the, I don't need to move it, uh, with these shock waves. Uh, the wider triangles signify melee attacks. The more narrow uh, shapes are ranged attacks. He's probably going to net the HQ and the big guy with the mace. No. Okay. Well, I definitely want to take out the net. Uh, 
I'm trying to place my guys in such a way that I won't lose them all when he gets his nuke. Unfortunately, right now, if he got his nuke, he could totally take out most of my guys right now. Now, one of the reasons why I like Hegemony is they have the Net Fighter. Which I would love to put on the HQ right now, but I'm hesitant because I don't want it to be taken out if a nuke decides to take out this or this area. If I place him here, a nuke can be dropped here and do a damage to everything except the HQs, which unfortunately would take him out. So I'm going to play him a little more defensive right now. And as much as I'd like, I'm going to actually put him here to defend the net fighter. I want to get next to the base, but I'm nervous the longer we play about that nuke coming down. I know it would be better if I could just maybe hit the HQ, but I'm going to do this to try to take out some units uh, while I can. And just recognize I will get hit for one, but we will do significant damage to their HQ. I do like how it shows the, uh, these damage tokens being applied to the units. Keep track more visually. Okay, not too shabby. And there's that nuke. So I'm curious. I think it'll take this uh, left side. Took the right side. It also took out my mobility. Okay, now this is going to get interesting. Now the runners I can use defensively as well. Uh, I can move them around. I'd be surprised if they wanted to start a battle. But at the same time, no, I don't because of that. See, and I like how the boost from the officer, which are the two stars, uh, so this boost from the mother to the armored guard you get this three and this two initiative. So it attacks at initiative three, three because of the boost from the scout, and then it attacks at initiative two because of the mother. I really need to take it out, but I also really want to put some damage on this HQ. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to undo that, put him here, place him there. Trick with facing Moloch is when I get an opening, I need to hit him and punch him with all I've got. But... If 
I don't, no, I don't want that one yet. If I don't have an opening, then I need to play a little bit more defensive. Now I'm purely doing this to protect that unit from the uh, the hybrid from up above to protect my thug. He can get close to my base right now, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. I haven't had any. Go ahead and take him out versus the Gauss Cannon, which is close. I haven't had any other net fighters, which is strange. A good battle here. Staying ahead of... So we're staying ahead of Moloch, but not by much. But at least I was able to wipe out some of his units. So with the nuke already gone, uh, the bomb, the best thing right now is to play a slightly more defensive game. Although that being said, I think I want to stick him. Let's see, he'll do two, but he has to punch through that. I'm going to go ahead and net the Gauss cannon. Since I've got these guys on the right side, Hopefully that'll help as a defensive mechanism. <laughs> oh, there's an interesting idea. So I'm tempted to do a push uh, do I use the push to push from my ex from my gladiator to push the armored hunter down to get netted? Uh, no, because then he'll get taken out. So I'm going to do what I was initially going to do. Net him and go ahead and attack. Definitely worth it. The only unfortunate part is now Moloch goes next, so they're in a, in a power play. So I don't want to actually attack right now. I just want to play defensively. I mean, yes, a battle is going to happen here. And I will end up taking some damage on my HQ. But 
but hopefully it's not more than what I'm going to be doing to that. And this is going to put me back in control. Control meaning I get to get this my units next. Okay. Final battle. Okay, there we go. And did I have enough to absorb all of it? Okay, close game, but a win is a win. So that was lots of fun. Uh, again, this is just a beta. So there's there's the board. Um, I don't know if share works yet. It does, kind of. Um, well, there's the app. I'm excited. I like some of the features of it. Uh, I think there's a lot of features that are subtle things that are nice for new players. Uh, for those who've played it a lot, uh, a lot the app was a the original app was a good port from board game to app but this new app is more of a designed with the app in mind as being maybe the somebody's first experience with Niroshima hex uh, so some of the usability features, some of the highlights and, and call-outs for uh, the different initiative changes and attack changes. So I like it. I'm curious to see how it develops over time and excited to see what's coming next. So until next time, this is the Niroshima Hex Gamer signing off.